Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful ways to organize any project, building a Gantt chart system right inside Notion. And here's the best part. We're going to use a free, professionally designed template. By the end of this tutorial, you'll not only have a sleek, customized Gantt chart ready to track any task, but you'll also understand exactly how to tweak it to fit your own workflow. Trust me, it's a game changer if you want to see your project timeline at a glance and keep your to-do list on point. Let's get started. For this demonstration, we're streamlining the setup process by taking advantage of Notion's free Gantt chart system template. These templates aren't just convenient, they're crafted to look professional right out of the box, which saves you weekend hours fussing over formatting. Plus, if you're a fan of personal touches or have team-specific needs, you'll still have all the freedom to customize every detail later. First things first, head up to the top left corner of your Notion workspace. You'll see a little drop-down arrow. This is your gateway to more options. Give it a click. If you're used to Notion's interface, you might notice there are quite a few features tucked into these menus, but don't worry if it feels a little overwhelming. We're focusing on templates for now. From the menu, select Browse Templates. This is like walking into a well-stocked shop full of tools built by Notion experts and the community. In the search bar, simply type in Gantt Chart Database. You'll see a few options pop up. Take a moment and scroll through them. Some might have different visual layouts or extra features, such as color-coded bars or task dependencies. Pick the one that aligns best with the kind of project you're managing. If you're not sure, just go with the standard Gantt chart system to start. You can always change things up later. Once you've found the template you like, select it and click Add. Notion will instantly pull the entire structure into your workspace. At this point, it's like you've moved into a new, ready-made apartment that just needs your name on the mailbox. Now comes the fun part, personalizing. Start by adding your credentials. This might seem trivial, but having your name and team members added here helps everyone know who owns which part of the process. Next, add your creatives, the specific items, tasks, or initiatives you want to track over time. Don't rush. Give each entry a clear, memorable name so you're never confused later on. As you populate your Gantt chart, you'll see how each task falls into your project timeline. This visualization is what makes Gantt charts so powerful. You can instantly see which tasks overlap, where the bottlenecks might happen, and how to keep everything moving smoothly. Think of it like laying out a map for a road trip. Each stop needs a clear time and place to keep you on schedule. Take advantage of the customizable aspects of the template. Change colors, rearrange columns, or add extra notes if you need more detail for your particular workflow. If you get stuck or something seems unclear, don't worry. That's normal when customizing in Notion. The beauty here is you can always tweak and undo without messing up your base structure. And that's it. In just a few steps, you've installed a professional-looking, fully functional Gantt chart system into your Notion workspace. With this setup, you're ready to manage tasks, visualize your progress, and stay ahead of deadlines. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more tips about Notion. Subscribe for more easy-to-follow project management guides, because I'm here to help you work smarter, not harder. Thanks for watching and see you next time.